welcome again to the big match. And after the Elton John extravaganza of our Christmas show, you're saddled with me again, I'm afraid. But at least we are back to a more orthodox programme, and one that I think has got all the excitement that you can want to take you into the new year. There's Spurs against West Ham, a London derby of critical importance. There's Liverpool against Sunderland, top v bottom. And there's goals all the way as Norwich City face Leicester City. And there's a chance to win an Elton John album, signed by the man himself. But first, the worrying sight for London of the foot of the first division, as it appeared yesterday morning. QPR's match at Derby was off. You need only a glance to understand the importance of this game to Spurs and West Ham as they search for salvation points at White Hart Lane. A White Hart Lane, cold and watery. The Tottenham pitch, though, in magnificent condition, really, considering the bad weather. And this is the Tottenham side. Jennings in goal. Pratt, who comes in for Willie Young, who's suspended after being sent off against Arsenal. Osgood, Naylor and Gorman. Hoddle, Perryman and Coates. Taylor, Duncan and Conn with Jones the sub. And making up for lost time after several months of injury, the Spurs striker John Duncan adding useful firepower to his side. This then is the West Ham side, unchanged after five points out of eight. Day in goal, Lampard, Green, Taylor and Locke. Bonds, Brooking and Brian Robson, Jennings, Radford and Keith Robson and Otto Lukowski, the substitute. And the newcomer here, of course, is John Radford, signed just before Christmas from Arsenal. The referee at White Hart Lane is Ken Burns of Starbridge, a sub himself. He only heard of his appointment 24 hours earlier. And the crowd, 45,000 umbrellas. So away we go. West Ham attacking the goal to our right in their claret and blue shirts and white shirts. Spurs in white with black shorts. A really critical local derby here. With Spurs 20th and West Ham 21st. And Peter Taylor trying to take up the running for Tottenham. West Ham maybe have just a little more to be uh, thankful for at the moment. Five points out of the last eight, with victories over Manchester United and Liverpool, and a draw against Birmingham away. Spurs have only two wins in their last 15 games. Here's Taylor again, but beaten nicely by Keith Robson. Played forward by Locke towards Billy Jennings, and a free kick to Tottenham, to West Ham rather. So Kevin Locke, Bradford made a good run there, a great old enemy of Tottenham over the years of course when he was an Arsenal player, Peter Taylor. I think in the first few minutes we might well find that there are new, a few nerves that need to be calmed. to West Ham. Here's Lampard. Right foot towards Radford. Rested down beautifully there for Billy Jennings. Nice understanding here as Jennings tries to get Radford away again, but uh, Keith Osgood right in there, skimming away on that wet surface. And a throw to West Ham. Looking. Perriman in very hard, I would have thought unfairly from behind, free kick, yes. But a shake of the hands. A free kick to West Ham. Bill Green's come up on the far side, that tall figure. And Radford leading all the way, goal to West Ham! Well, they've all gone across to Brooking. As he glided that free kick in, Spurs all over the place, did Radford get the touch there? Back of the net, and West Ham leading by a goal to nil, with two and a half minutes gone. Spurs nil, West Ham won, and the appearances were such that it seemed that West Ham players were giving that goal to Trevor Brooking. So Spurs getting a quick set back there and indeed they badly need, I mean it's a silly thing to say maybe that they need uh, two points badly, of course they do and so do West Ham. But Spurs the more so since their next four games are all away, one of them a cup tie at Cardiff but three league games at Everton and at Newcastle and at Queen's Park Rangers. So 
Tommy Taylor in a bit of trouble. And Bond's beaten by Conn, but Brian Robson was back there to support his uh, captain, and here's Bill Green back to Mervindale. throw Keith Osgood Coates oh he's given that away to Billy Jennings now will Jennings make that number two well in fact it was Pat Jennings who stopped him but a silly mistake there by Ralph Coates giving the ball away Billy Jennings snapped onto it and Pat Jennings stopped it with his knees certainly every time West Ham bring big men forward like Bill Green Billy Bonds and Tommy Taylor for corners. Spurs might get caught out in the air. Well, Billy Bonds caught out Alfie Conn there, not to the liking of referee Ken Burns. I think Ken Burns is saying, look, I've noticed you had a couple of goes at that already, and uh, I think he wasn't far from bringing out the yellow card then. And Alfie Conn takes a fair battering most Saturdays of the season, and there he is, that's a little too high for him, and... Uh, Billy Bonds looking at Mervyn Day as much as to say, for goodness sake, it's you that should call. So Bonds has conceded a corner, and Coates is going to take it. And they're all racing in, and West Ham flick it away now for Tommy Taylor. A flick on now for Brian Robson. Brooking. So many things stem from him, but not on this occasion. He slipped as he made that pass, and it's fallen instead for Osgood. Now the pits. Connor's gone up, Duncan is up there, Peter Taylor is up there. A beautiful cross in there, and that time Bill Green got his uh, foot to it. It might have gone anywhere, but in fact he uh, made the right sort of contact. for the throw now Hoddle here's Duncan Hoddle again made a little bit more pace there and a tremendous shot and it was Billy Bonds who dived in right at the last there when he looked as though Spurs might have got an opening lovely piece of play by Hoddle though now Taylor and again Billy Bonds gets in at the expense of a corner once more and again, Spurs are putting West Ham under pressure. West Ham still leading by a goal to nil. Here's Taylor with that uh, corner. Oh, and Pratt almost got in with the header, and somehow West Ham got it away again. Lovely curling corner again from Taylor. And Pratt very nearly got it there with the header that came. Billy Jennings, yes, a free kick. Terry Naylor after Robson to put him through and the yellow card coming out for Terry Naylor and Terry Naylor I don't know whether he is aware of it or not now he is he's got to go back all of 20 or 30 yards to referee Ken Burns and that challenge there on Billy Jones Tommy Taylor right up. Kevin Locke with the free kick for West Ham. And it's floated towards Taylor. To Mystic, the uh, calling for a corner, but uh, referee Ken Burns has given the goal kick to Tottenham. It's a good start to the new year so far for the West Ham manager, John Lyle, second from the right there. Anton Otulikowski, the substitute next to him on the left as we look. Helping it on its way, but again, West Ham getting it away. The long optimistic kick there by Gorman. yet to score for his new club since he came down from Carlisle both he and Bill Green of course last season playing for Carlisle United both coming to London clubs John Gorman of Tottenham the number three and Bill Green the number four of West Ham oh that's a long kick back and it wasn't more than a yard wide 
Billy Bonds, who in fact got that uh, long kick back towards Mervyn Day, and Day was away out of his goal, and he was in trouble until it went just a yard wide. So another corner for Tottenham. And West Ham with everybody back, Coates with it. A long one again, Duncan couldn't get the header in again. Perryman knocking it sideways here for Hoddle. Here's Naylor, hit in again. Lampard away this time. But in moments of stress, West Ham unashamedly bringing everybody back. But the onus is on Tottenham, and as Perryman tried to make a good run, but again, Bill Green was there for West Ham. Brooking versus Conn. A good advantage played by referee Ken Burns. The game warming up again as it finds Brooking. Radford. Jennings. And Billy Bonds. Well, he gave that one away as well. Duncan sending Peter Taylor on. A chance now for Tottenham. And Duncan! Oh, no! He hit it right into the side, letting to Taylor. Duncan had gone roaring into the middle, looking for something to come back his way. Taylor decided on the shot. And the shot went into the side netting. Jennings. Lampard. Lines for playing. A foul by John Gorman on Billy Jennings. It's a free kick to West Ham. Radford and uh, Keith Robson poised on the far side. Frank Lampard's going to take it. And he's hit it towards Radford. In fact, he was out jumped by Osgood. Here's Peter Taylor. Lock forcing him to go a little wider than maybe he wanted to, but he's still got it in well there towards Duncan. And Billy Bonds hacking it away out of the mud in that uh, West Ham penalty area. And an offside given against Billy Jennings and fury from Terry Naylor who felt that the game should have been allowed to go on with Spurs in possession. Well, that was a terrible, yes, yellow card. And really, Frank Lampard has no complaints. A blatant piece of uh, body checking and obstruction there by Frank Lampard on Ralph Coates. That's why the yellow card was given. Coates with the free kick then for Tottenham. Keith Robson's header away. Billy Jennings guiding the header to Brooking. Tottenham sir again. Certainly fought back well Tottenham. Badly need a goal to lift their confidence. Billy uh, Bonds to Billy Jennings. Naylor finding John Pratt on the far side. Locke cutting that out without a great deal of difficulty, except that he didn't control it quite well enough. And here's Hoddle now taking it up for Tottenham. Pratt on the far side, virtually playing as an old-fashioned right-back. Peter Taylor turning it in once more. Con trying a little jink, and Green got it away to Brooking. Lock. All the way back. It was dangerous, but Con was there. Lampard. Tommy Taylor, Radford, Brian Robson to Kevin Locke, chipped forward there, beautifully there by Locke for Brooking, but he couldn't turn it in, although he's got a corner, off Perryman, lovely little chip by uh, Kevin Locke, And with six minutes to go to half-time, Billy Bonds up in that Spurs penalty area. A second goal for West Ham now would be so welcome for them. Radford almost a free header, and Pat Jennings right down there at the post. Looking again, curling in a header. 
uh, a corner rather again Radford's header because there are really no big men in that Spurs defence at the moment and Jennings getting down well to save and here's Hoddle Hon's gone on the run and there's Billy Bonds now stretching his leg to try and repair that bit of damage Conn's slipping it in towards Ralph Coates and he couldn't quite get there for Tottenham. Taylor versus Robson. Uh, it was shoulder to shoulder it seemed to be. Robson now gets the yellow card. For kicking that ball away. away yet we're in injury time at the end of the first half now as Layla flings another free kick in for Tottenham oh it's blowing uh, gale force winds here at the moment with the rain and Kevin Lock beaten by Peter Taylor this time there's Taylor with the cross and Billy Bonds with the header away again but it's another corner in these dying seconds of the first half to Tottenham Hotspur So little time for them now to take it. A long, long cross from Taylor. Fists of Mervyn Day because he couldn't bear to think that he would uh, catch it and maybe drop it. And the whistle going for half-time with West Ham going that goal up right at the start of the game through Trevor Brooking, I think we must give it to him. And Spurs coming tumbling back at uh, West Ham in search of an equaliser that they never quite found. But I think we can promise you a lot of fireworks in the second half in this important local derby at the bottom of the first division. And a half-time score at White Hart Lane in the rain that says Spurs nil, West Ham one. We'll be right back with you. So as we welcome you back to White Hart Lane, two things to tell you. One is that this lad, Anton Otolakowski, is on for West Ham in place of John Radford, who's got some slight hamstring trouble. He's the lad, uh, Otolakowski, they bought from Barnsley. And the second one is that the West Ham players have confirmed that they have given the goal to Trevor Brooking. But in fact, uh, John Radford did not get a touch. So Brooking the scorer of the only goal of the game so far. then to West Ham which Brooking will take here's Keith Robson Brooking to Keith Robson Brooking again trying to find his way through Billy Jennings Robson again, looking, this will gone, an offside, by Trevor Brooking. Gorman, that round-shouldered, bustling run of his, finding Coates. It's a nice touch if Conn can get there, but Billy Bonds really have defended well so far, West Ham. 
Bonds and Green in particular, and Locke, who's done a good marking job on uh, Taylor. Perryman, Coates, crossed in again this time. Bill Green was the first to react to it. Finding Keith Robson, but he's given it away to Hoddle. Coates. King, Artilikowski, so the nice of the dummy there on John Pratt, he's got Keith Robson right up there, the ball played for Robson, but Osgood went sliding in there, a throw to West Ham. Robson, corner to West Ham. John Gorman and Trevor Brooking and here's the corner swinging in again towards Bill Green Robson trying to make something to Keith Robson hitting it straight the first time but straight against Gorman Artulikowski lost his touch there and here's Hoddle now for Tottenham Con on a tremendous run and Billy Bond's going with him Con going all the way nice and bagging penalty that's going to be a penalty over the linesman had his arm across his chest the linesman definitely had his arm across his chest and it's going to be a penalty well two West Ham players three West Ham players are around the linesman Day, Lock and Bonds and to me that was a very harsh decision indeed that's the incident that seemed a harsh one to me, there was a bit of pulling there, I suppose. But a corner, or rather a penalty given, and Osgood, who's got five penalties out of his six goals this season, will never face a kit that is more important now than it is for Tottenham. A chance to go back on level terms, and that's where they are! could kill the linesman on this side of the field would be dead but there's no doubt about it when Keith Osgood hits those penalties they stay hit and Day had no chance at all that was purely the linesman's decision because Ken Burns went across and had a word with him there to Keith Robson, nice touch now for Trevor Brooking. But Peter Taylor coming up hard at him, that's not a bad little cross but he just cannoned off a Tottenham player and fell behind Billy Jennings for Gorman. Dame beautifully balanced now. Coates. Hollow. Still Hollow. Oh, he's gone a long way. But he couldn't quite pull it back, Green was there, even though he gave away the ball. Coach for the corner, Osgood lying deep, I wonder if he's going to make another of those long runs of his. Firstly, Pratt's made the run, and Keith Robson got the header away, Arpey Conn with the shot! Oh, and a very good save indeed by Mervyn Day! As that came out, Pong, probably for the first time in the game, had a clear sight on goal, hit it well. Day flung himself and turned it round for the corner. Taylor again with the corner. Oh, and he was kicked off the line that time by Kevin Locke. That corner skimming all the way through again. And it was Locke. 
Clark who uh, got it off the line for West Ham. So Taylor with another of these tantalising corners, a deeper one this time. And Brian Robson there to get a good header away with a lot of height to it. Now it's Brookie. Clicked on for Billy Jennings. Terry Naylor and Spurs defenders coming back quickly. Jennings has lost the way. He's tried hard, Billy Jennings, but it's the one area so far in this game where West Ham have been a little bit wanting. Defended well, just as uh, Billy Bonds got in there, and again. At that time, uh, I took a little kick. West Ham have looked uh, very good in defence working very well for each other and Spurs for their part have shown a very keen competitive spirit too. Brooking, another ball for Brian Robson. That's going to be Terry Naylor's ball. There for John Duncan, he's hit it well, and it's slow by Duncan. Well, he's a sure-footed striker, John Duncan, out for so long with injury, and just look now as that ball, he gets it onto the left foot. Puts it wide of Mervyn Day. 2-1 to Tottenham. Spurs are not going to let this lead go lightly. Lampard, Tommy Taylor, Billy Bonds, he's got to pump it forward now in these last seconds. Lampard was there, Otulakowski missed his kick. Billy Bonds again to Tommy Taylor once again. There's another long cross going in. Robson couldn't do anything with the header. Otulakowski again, referee looking at his watch and it's all over. It's two points for Tottenham with those two goals in the second half. The winner coming from John Duncan. With Spurs coming back so well in that second half, Keith Osgood scoring from the penalty spot. And it was that penalty that really was the turning point of the whole game. After West Ham had played and defended so well for so long. And Trevor Brooking had given them the lead with only two minutes of the game gone. A good derby game. And a precious two points then for Tottenham Hotspur. A final scoreline at White Hart Lane. That reads Spurs 2, West Ham United.